Well, this is Polly. Polly is a traditional Shire horse. She's black with four white legs and a blaze. Um, she's 18-2 and she's 10 years old. Polly is part of the heavy horse group as a whole, but she is a purebred Shire horse. So at Devon County Show this year, 2021, Polly will be entered in the over four-year-old mare class and she will also be entered in the Shire Horse of the Year qualifying class. So Polly now is 10 years old, um, which in horse terms is relatively young, but in Shire Horse terms, that's actually quite old, especially for showing, not for normal living, but for showing. Polly is now in foal, so hopefully next year that we'll have a nice healthy foal and she'll go into the mare and foal class. Since we've been in lockdown last year, um, my project was working with Polly and um, I broke her into ride, just hacking around the country lanes. But the main reason why I've broken her to ride is shy horses are very prone for stiffening up, getting arthritis and basically being very lazy. So, you know, so I can ride her, free her up in the mornings and hopefully prolong her life for as long as possible. This year with Devon County Show, it should be very exciting because it's the first show that we've had for 12 months now. Polly is a very keen shower. Thankfully, Polly is very successful in the show ring and she's won all across the counties. So when you go in the show ring, for example, like at Devon County Show, the judge will stand in the middle to the side um, and you will walk the horses around in a circle. Normally, the judges are looking for the height the broadness, the pure power in the chest of the animal. So when the heavy horses trot, you want a nice strong knee action, high hock action, and a good strong line. So a traditional shire will be plaited up, so they'll have a nice braiding through the mane with plumes and have their tail. They'll also, um, will be looking for plenty of feather on the horse, so that's the hair on their legs and be nice and clean and tidy. So heavy horses as a breed do suffer a lot in their feet. Because they're so large on top, the pressure on their feet and their frogs and down to their pedal bones, um, they do tend to suffer. I'm very, very fortunate that my brother's a farrier, Danny, and he comes over quite a lot and makes sure that Polly's feet is maintained. So Polly, in three words, is beautiful, kind-hearted, and a soulmate. All in all, she's fantastic.